You're watching Startup Central with me, Nantara Rai. The next startup that we're going to get to you on the show has gone in for a big fundraise. It's going to be going for an IPO. It had already got checks from Rakesh Junjunwala in the past. This is Nazara, and he has a co-founder and the new investor in conversation with my colleague, Avant Dibash. Well, online and internet gaming is all the rage and Nazara Technologies, which has diversified interests in esports, cricket stimulation games, quiz, trivia apps, among others, has also filed its draft red herring prospectus with SEBI and has a key of marquee investors, the likes of Rakesh Junjunwala, as well as IFL Special Opportunities Fund and Turtle Entertainment. Now there has been news that they've raised close to 100 crore rupees through Hornbill Capital, which is acting as an advisor to Instant Growth Limited. Let's chat today with Nitish Mithasin, the founder of Nazara Technologies, as well as Manoj Thakur, the founder and managing partner at Hornbill Capital. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it is to have you on board. Thanks much for joining in. To begin with, Nitish, this is certainly a feather in your cap. You have, uh, you know, a number of investments over the last five years, over 300 crores um, and now 100 crore rupees via Hornbill Capital. Tell us a little bit more about how much you've raised so far and what this investment and stamp of approval from Hornbill Capital means for Nazara. Sure, Avan. Uh, uh, nice to be on as always. So as you know, you know, uh, we believe that uh, gaming uh, continues to be a big opportunity in India and we're only, you know, at a very early stage of growth. And it's very important that uh, for all the you know areas we want to focus on, the company is well capitalized, as well as uh, you know we have strong, experienced investors backing us. And I think we are extremely excited to have uh, Manoj and uh, you know Hornbill, Hornbill Capital uh, partner with us. Uh, going forward, I think there's a huge excitement, huge opportunity, and that's really where we are looking uh, to get great investors with us. Okay, yes indeed, it is a feather in your cap yet again. There's a lot of room for growth, particularly brought about by the pandemic and rising internet users. How are you looking at Nazara as a company really capitalizing on this growth? So uh, let me tell you the story behind this investment. So uh, I took my son uh, to uh, Tech Fest. Uh, this is the IIT Bombay's uh, Tech uh, Technology Festival. And there, uh, we saw a stage in which there were competition, gaming competition going on. And there was such a high level of excitement. There were big screens. There were teams of uh, players competing with each other. There was music. The whole atmosphere was electric. And I was, at that time, I realized that esports or audience watching games uh, is going to be really, really big. So we started to map the market uh, because we all know gaming is, uh, is, is expanding, as Nitish said. We are at an early stage. So we started uh, uh, mapping out the market uh, about, you know, game publishers are there. Then there are RMG players, real money gaming players, as you would know. Um, there are esports players. There is gamified uh, early education. So amongst various uh, uh, spaces we, we mapped, uh, we realized that Nazara is a company which is uh, really at the forefront of this. Uh, they are the pioneers of gaming industry in India. Uh, what we liked about uh, Nitish and, uh, and, and his CEO Manish is that uh, they are very clear on uh, unit economics, uh, cash flows, EBITDA, and while driving the growth. Also their capital allocation model of their existing VAS business, mobile VAS business, value added services business, funding the high growth businesses of esports, uh, gamified early learning, sports simulation. Uh, we really like this capital allocation model and at the end of the end of the day, it's executions. Uh, I have been personally tracking Nazara for two years, and uh, they are delivering what they, they 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 promise or what they set out to do. So consequently, this was uh, this was a winner that uh, we would like to back. Oh, yes, indeed. And, uh, you know, just to dwell on that question that I was asking about India as a gaming market, 
Where do we stand right now in terms of our total online gamers, the average revenue per gamer? Because even though one wouldn't really associate uh, India with gaming, there are, if I'm not mistaken, close to 380 million gamers in the country. What's the gaming penetration like and how do we stand vis-a-vis -vis the global peers? Sure. So, uh, Avan, uh, you know, the big driver of growth for gaming in India obviously has been the penetration of mobile devices. And uh, with uh, increasingly fast speeds and dropping costs of data on mobile is really what is leading uh, to have that, you know, perfect gaming device in the hand of, you know, hundreds of millions of Indians and uh, spearheading, uh, you know, the growth of the industry. Because gaming, uh, you know, serves as the perfect, uh, uh, you know, snacky time behavior for consumers, you know, when they want to kill some time, they want to engage, you know, they reach out to their mobile phone and play a game. And that's really what's inculcating that whole gaming culture, which earlier did not exist in India because of the lack of penetration of, let's say, consoles or PCs. So, like you mentioned, you know, we already have 300 million plus uh, mobile uh, gamers, mobile phone gamers. Predominantly, I think 95% plus is on happening on the mobile phone. And with India, with, uh, you know, 1 billion plus consumer base, I think there's sufficient headroom for growth. One is in absolute numbers. The other growth that you will see is, you know, the 300 million users you're talking about are still today very casual in nature, but a certain percentage of them are getting more deeply engaged into more mid-core games, spending more time per day in this uh, mode of entertainment versus, uh, let's say, you know, watching movies or doing Netflix, et cetera. So I think also the amount of consumption that is happening and the depth of consumption that is happening is increasing very fast. And you will continue to see both the trends happen. The quantity of people doing gaming and also the, the quantity of time being spent on gaming will parallelly increase leading to this explosion over the next few years. Yeah, as you said, the depth of the gamers now from casual to more serious gamers really seems to be growing. Um, now, Manoj just wanted to talk a little bit about Hornbill um, Orchid Fund, the India-focused uh, fund in, in greater detail. Uh, in terms of the size of the fund, what kind of companies, what kind of sectors do you look at investing in? Uh, what is the uh, ideal profile? of uh, investments because there have been a number of listed Indian companies like Affil India, India Mart and then the likes of of course uh, NSC and Nazara recently. So uh, we clearly have a bias towards consumer internet companies. Uh, we believe that India is just beginning at an early stage of a multi-decade uh, consumer internet boom uh, and we want to pride and participate in that boom. So uh, from the public market fund, we clearly see a great opportunity in uh, some of these uh, internet companies going public. I do believe that the Indian public market is maturing. Uh, they are able to appreciate uh, uh, the business models and high growth of some of these internet companies. So we see uh, companies going public uh, and that opportunity set for investor as a huge as a huge opportunity. Aside from that, there are obviously unlisted companies, uh, companies uh, which are at different stages of growth, uh, again in consumer internet and broadly in tech sector uh, in India. Uh, we believe India is a fertile market for uh, uh, for internet uh, penetration, internet business models. Uh, there is behavioral shift which is happening and this is here to stay. In fact, COVID only accelerated this shift. So uh, we are great believers in this uh, and there are various business models which are getting evolved and uh, thanks to the smartphone, smartphone, uh, smartphone penetration in India as well as the young population. So it's a matter of time that these uh, companies uh, will become sizable companies. And we have uh, China as an example of how sophisticated their consumer internet uh, sector has become. And we do believe, believe that India will follow that, uh, that path. 
Okay, uh, Nitish, after that failed attempt for the IPO in 2018, now, you know, the company is filing the DRHP yet again. And incidentally, Nazara is the first gaming startup to file the DRHP with SEBI. So just walk us through whatever details. I know you can't divulge too much, so I won't probe. But whatever you can share with us on the IPO. Sure. Uh, as you know, uh, and this public information that we have already filed our DRHP with SEBI, uh, earlier in Jan, and uh, we are now awaiting approvals uh, to be able to move forward. So I think uh, you know the team is uh, focused on executing the same once the approvals come in. And uh, yeah, I think our DRHP obviously has a huge amount of information in it. Uh, difficult for me to kind of you know replicate it here, but uh, like I said, I think uh, you know we as a company we have been you know, pursuing this dream of building a large and successful gaming venture over the last, you know, many years. And uh, this seems to be a logical step for us. Uh, step in that direction. Um, Manoj, just wanted to uh, understand from you as well, uh, in terms of uh, the kind of um, competition as well that we see uh, in the online gaming space, it is a very highly competitive uh, sector. As Nitish was talking about, while there are a number of uh, gaming users, there is now a gradual transition to the serious gamers. Is that any sort of a concern for you? How are you looking at the gaming landscape? I would say market is uh, at an early stage, so I, uh, I guess each uh, each player in the in the gaming space is helping to expand the market. Uh, so, so yes, there is competition, uh, but the the various segments within the gaming industry uh, they are uh, they are yet to evolve. Uh, yes, there is RMG skill based real money gaming uh, is evolving faster, but to me. Uh, Esports is uh, still an early stage, uh, so Nazara is a, is a significant player in that in that space. Uh, there are obviously uh, uh, gamified learning space that's also expanding rapidly. So yes, uh, competition is there, uh, but it's a welcome competition, and uh, each player will find its uh, its its right business model to grow and expand. Now, Nitish, let's talk financials as well. I understand that the company is eyeing revenues of about 470 crores by FY21. That's a near 2x growth of what we saw in FY20. And your company is also looking at diversifying presence across the world. Walk us through your current revenue run rate and what your projections are. Uh, I mean, so, you know, because we have filed our DRHP with SEBI, we are actually not permitted to talk about our you know, future financials including the run rate for the current year. Uh, we can only refer back to the numbers that are already in our DRH. So can you just give us some sort of a flavor as to what they stand at? Sure. So the first six months uh, roughly uh, posted about 207 crores of revenue and uh, about 79% uh, of our uh, you know overall revenue for the previous year. So we've uh, seen healthy growth. I think uh, partially COVID has also been uh, providing tailwinds in the early part of the year, but we've also seen, I think the general gaming trend, you know, pick up as we are expecting it to. So I